We begin with the Group A final of the NXT Interim Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Three way. Maverick, Drake Maverick versus Kushida versus Jake Atlas. As always, we have two fun minutes and a commercial break, which drives me crazy. So they had a they had a three way. There was a lot of action, a lot of fun action. No story of any kind whatsoever. Just three guys taking turns doing moves. And it wasn't even early like one of those normal three ways where two guys do something and one guy's outside and no. then they switch. This was one three way spot after another at a thousand yes. miles an hour for like eight straight minutes. Yes. If, if, if you like action, this is all action. So, bully for you. Then came the finish. Now, I shared on Twitter that I thought this may have been the worst, the new worst finish of all time. In hindsight, A, it's not as bad as Bam Bam Bigelow being countered out of a false count anywhere match. And B, they actually, even though they didn't, it, it's, it's worse than they intended it to be, the fact that it's a bad finish plays into the storyline, so I will give them some leeway for that, although there's better ways to do a bad finish. So here's the deal. Kushida and Jake Atlas are, f- are fighting on the top rope. Kushida grabs his arm, flies through the air, applies a flying arm bar. Now they're on the mat. Jake Atlas's shoulders are down. Kushida's legs, plural, both legs are across Jake Atlas's chest, and he has the arm scissored. He's trying to, I believe, hyperextend the elbow, Brian. That's what this hold uh, ideally does, or break the arm. You you make the arm bend the way it's not supposed to go. That's a bad thing. Yeah, yes. don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So regardless, he has this guy trapped. He's also on top of him, and I can't stress this part enough. His legs, both of them, are all the way atop Jake Atlas's chest and stretching over to the other side. As this is going on, Drake Maverick sneaks in, gently, lightly, delicately, barely places his palm onto Jake Atlas's chest. The referee counts three, and it is determined that Maverick was pinning this guy, but Kushida was not. Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Yes. You cannot be serious. <laughs> That's the worst call in a ring. I've ever seen. You know what? I mean, there were a million problems with this, and you mentioned the main one, which is, why did you count because an arm was across the body, but you didn't count when two legs were across it's the body? It's not an arm, it's a hand. Whatever. I mean, he, he, sl- he slid his arm in there, but it doesn't matter. If any arm or hand, it doesn't matter. It was two legs. It not. Two legs versus one arm. Right, so, right. like, it was really dumb. Don't get me wrong. There's a way that they could have done a creative finish like this, but the problem is, and I know people are going to get mad when I say this, but this is the problem. It's WWE. You've got Matt Riddle, who is in fact a mixed martial arts. He's a former UFC fighter. And you could ask him, and I promise, because I can think of about 20 different submissions you could do. There's a way where he could have, Kushida could have been doing a submission on Kushida, and not be covering him, and not having Kushida's shoulders down, and Drake Maverick sneaks in, and he 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 pins the guy, and that's the finish, okay? A simple one, the head and arm, that, what's what's the creep, the farm guy? Uh, 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 Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis's head and arm choke, okay? You take a guy down with the head and arm choke, and you're choking him on the mat, and he's got one shoulder down, but one shoulder up, He's not being pinned, and and Drake Maverick comes in, and he pushes the other shoulder down. The ref counts three, and Drake wins. Okay, great. You could do it like that. There's other arm bars you can do on the ground where your legs aren't covering the guy. But because it's WWE, and because Kushida's move is an arm bar, they had to use that, and it made the whole thing fucking dumb. It was really dumb. And furthermore, like, I don't know. There's a hundred ways... They could have gotten to this conclusion with better than the way they did. I I am not a UFC fighter, as some of you may know. I do not have a black belt in jiu-jitsu. But you could do, Kushida hits a move on Jake Atlas, makes a cover. Atlas gets a foot on the ropes. Kushida thinks he's won, but he is not. And then you do something else. Maverick gets a move on Atlas, makes a cover. Atlas gets his foot on the ropes again, but this time the referee misses it. Simple. Whatever. Right? But, I mean, the larger issue there, Vinny, is... It's one of these, it's a tournament, okay? The best guy is supposed to be the champion. Also w- true. Was was Spud the best guy when this match was over? No! no. He fucking fluked his way into a, into a match he never should have won. And it's like, 
I, I, I like the Drake Maverick story. I like that he's in the finals now. I mean, I'm, I'm still expecting him to be fucked at the end and, and fired. I don't expect a happy ending out of this company. But Jesus Christ, let's say that he is going to win now. Let's say that that, that 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 promo that he did when he got fired was like, they were just blown away by it. They they rehired him. They came up with his storyline. And they're like, now you're going to win. We're going to give the happy ending. Well, dude, he should have fucking won this match then. If, if this guy's going to the finals, he should have been the best man in the three-way. Instead, he fluked his fucking way in, and it was a shitty finish. The most dominant fighter in this tournament was Kushida. And he's not in the finals. He won his first two matches fairly handily. He was destroying Drake and screwed up at the end to force the th force this three-way. And here in this three-way, it was his move that won again. Yeah, this tournament is no good 